Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Police and Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation agents all on the scene in Glidden today after two people were found dead inside a mobile home there. And bodies were found just before 10 o'clock last night. Our Vanessa Pang has been following this story all day. She joins us live from the scene. Vanessa. Kevin and Stacey, a woman and man were found dead inside this mobile home right here behind me. You can see that the Carroll County Sheriff's Office and also the Division of Criminal Investigation are both out here continuing to investigate the scene. And also, if you go back to this mobile home here, you can see the crime scene tape is just wrapped around the house. And also, you can see blue tarp over there blocking off the porch. And all that was already here before the investigators came out here. Now, DCI agents are telling us that this is not a homicide investigation. It's also what they're basically saying right now is that it's a death investigation. Crime scene tape wraps around lot number five, blocking people from stepping into the scene of two deaths. I heard the sirens, but nothing else. I didn't hear fighting or anything. Gunshots, nothing. Neighbors say deaths like that don't happen in Glidden, especially across the street. It's kind of a quiet town. Uh, it's definitely the biggest thing that's happened in town. It's just crazy it's in Glidden, especially in my backyard. Deputies were called out to the mobile home at 129 Carroll Street around 9:50 Sunday night. Once there, they found a dead man. Then discovered a dead woman. It's not a suicide. It's not a homicide investigation at this point until the evidence directs us in one of those, you know, uh, directions. They're calling it a double death investigation. The mobile home is in the hindquarters mobile home park on the south edge of town. Residents tell us they've all heard about the woman who lives in lot number five. All we know her is the cat lady. So. Don't know much about her. Right now, DCI officials are not releasing the ages or names of the man or woman. They also won't say the relationship between the two. It's a scary thought. Now we have to be more cautious. An, an, excuse me, an autopsy will be done on the bodies tomorrow. And now, DCI officials are also telling us that we can expect them to call for a press conference tomorrow where they will tell us more details about what happened. Stacy? Okay, Vanessa Peng reporting live from Glidden. Thank you, Vanessa.